Now let's take a look at an example. So if we have our band pass HI filter, right? So this is the filter that creates our vestigial sideband signal. So this filter, right, it kind of cuts off a little bit around FC, and this is where our upper sideband signal is. And it's just this form that's sort of uh, vestigial down here. Now, if we were to shift them, right, so during the demodulation process, it's shifted back down to the baseband signal. And when it's shifted back down, we can see that this part, right, is shifted and this is shifted. And that's what the plus FC and minus FC do. Now, when we sum these together, right, we can determine the sum because this is a pretty simple form of the filter. We can see that the sum of these, when once they've been shifted back to the baseband, is going to be equal to one above a frequency of two, and it's going to be equal to one half uh, between the frequency of minus two and two. So how do these relate, right? We, we need to know how to define our output filter. So how, do, how does the output filter and this shifted input filter relate? Well, we have the sum of these, and we know that the output filter is defined as one over that sum. So from the section between minus two and two, we can see that one over one half is two. And above that, right, one over one is equal to one. So for a very simple vestigial sideband filter, we can see how you could, if you know what the input filter is, we can see how you could define the output filter or how you could design it.